Hi, hello, it's December 16th, 2018, 4.41 p.m. This is episode 320, 320. Um, you know, I did not need to do another cartoon, and this was not a pressing issue. In fact, it's not even a real issue at all. Um, not political, at least. It might be an issue around your dinner table. Um... Or at the bar. I like drawing, arguing people at bars. It's just fun. Um, but I, I've been wanting to do this, and I, and I know, knowing newspaper editors, a bunch of them are real lightweights, and they'll love it. I mean, this is not a, a heavy issue or anything like that, but it's just funny, and I wanted to do it because uh, actually, I, I, I like that debate also. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? No. Sorry. I know people like to say it because it makes them sound macho for having that as their favorite Christmas movie, but it's not a Christmas movie, okay? Case in point, it doesn't revolve around Christmas. It doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas. The story could happen at any time of the year. Other, any time that office building is going to have a party, you know? Um, there's no Christmas message, and the sequels don't have anything to do with Christmas, okay? It has nothing to do with Christmas. Yes, Bruce Willis wrote, ho, 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 now I have a machine gun on a dead terrorist shirt, but it doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas. Nah, 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 nah. Not at all. So, anyway, you guys are going to come in here and argue about why it does and stuff, but that that's fine. If, you, if you're arguing that it is a Christmas movie, um, just accept that you're wrong. Because you are. I guess I did another cartoon because it's kind of my routine to do a cartoon at night, and on Saturdays... Evening, I think, okay, what am I going to do? Eat some food or man, watch a movie, whatever. But I also wanted some coffee, and I thought, but I always make coffee when I draw. So I went ahead and started this thing early, about 10 p.m. I, I, I did go out yesterday to watch some, some football, but then I went to a bar, and I had some pork chops, and I had a beer. And then I had a second beer, but after I started that second beer, I thought, you know, I don't want to stay. I want to go home. So I went home. And then I drew this cartoon about 10. And then I had ice cream and I watched a movie. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like I have a hard time getting out of the routine of drawing, even whenever I shouldn't, because I'm, I'm like five days ahead. All right. Let's look at some uh, sh comments. So I can give some shout outs. Bob Mama um, explained his emojis to me. I've never really been into emojis that much. But uh, okay, one of those that he gave me was the Vulcan greeting I live long and prosper. I, I, I am familiar with that, but just not the emoji, okay? Um, and everyone talks more about ancestry. Uh, supposed to show you the geographic area your ancestors came from. Uh, unfortunately, because every country kicked Jewish people out at one time or another, they claim they can't tell. I'll call BS, but there's not much I can do about it. Yeah. Th that totally makes sense, too, though. I mean, um, if there's so much migration all over the place, it is, I guess it is kind of hard to trace back to where, you know, your, your family came from. Um, I'm not excusing ancestry or especially the people that forced them to move. But definitely not. Um, my family always said that we had German in us and uh, we were just full of Germans, chock full of Germans. Um, I even had a, a great grandmother who spoke German and her last name, she had a German name. Um, and the ancestry said that, nope, no German. But I'm wondering if, like from the Scandinavia, they went to Germany, and then after like generations from Germany, they immigrated to the United States. So I don't know. And they uh, assimilated, assimilated into German culture, but they still weren't really Germans. Now ancestry says that I have Western European, me, which can include parts of Germany. Or, well, according to the little mappy thing they showed me, it, it includes parts of Germany. Uh, uh, yeah. Era says we need to streamline the asylum process more judges and so, and yes it is legal for them to wait in the united states while their uh their case is being considered and this is something that republicans donald trump and such they do not want they don't want people to have their legal rights you know but then again today donald trump tweeted that um it should be illegal to make fun of him seriously i know 
And Ariel, you are correct. Building the wall won't stop people from making the journey. Hell, threading to rip families apart is not deterring them. And they know that that can happen. Um, and yeah, Ariel expected that to be a callous person's response about his family's fault. I gotta move on to these comments, though. So. Um, Robert Cortino said that the cartoon was too soon for him. You know what? Um, I don't do too soon. What's worse is doing too late. And I've had too many editors tell me, no, nope, it's too soon for that subject. You can't do it yet. And to me, whenever they said it was too soon, that actually meant never. So I don't worry about the too soon. Some people are going to have a problem that I did it or the timing, but they don't have my job. And if people are uncomfortable with it, that's fine. Especially since there's nothing wrong with the statement. And Chuck Black came in here. How's your car tuning coming, Chuck? How's your guitar playing? Uh, Chuck points out their policies have killed uh, two children that we know of, and the Border Patrol destroying water stashes are nothing more than thugs and murderers. I agree, and that is just some callous stuff right there. I mean, why would he do that? I mean, that's not deterring people from coming. That's, that's just trying to kill them. So, messed up. Here's your cartoon, folks. We are done. Please come back uh, tomorrow. There'll be another video. I don't know what I'm going to draw yet. I had like three different subjects to choose from. But I will be working tonight. After I watched a lot of football and order some food, I'm starving. Uh, yeah. Leave a comment, get a shout out, and do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor, do me a favor. Click that red button to subscribe. And if you subscribe, I'll be so happy. All right, see you guys Monday. Goodbye.